Hello my dear family members, I hope you are preparing well for your upcoming TCS NQT exam and I know you must be looking for recent questions asked in TCS NQT. So that's why I plan to upload all recent coding questions which were asked on April and May free NQT exam. So let's see. But before we proceed, I would recommend you to have the prime materials of TCS NQT in which I have included all recent questions with answers, all coding, advanced coding, all aptitude advanced aptitude questions with answer so to get that knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.tf you will get it and be mindful this is paid okay let's see so let's start with the questions so the first question is sub array with target sum right so you will be given an input like an array and you have to find the sub array which is having the sum as this right let's say in this case 1 plus 2 is 3 that means the sum so you have to return the sub array 1 2 right and the sub array 3 is also having the same as the sum so we have to return the sub array only 3 right so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section and if you want the solutions then also write i want solutions right okay let's see who are the champs who can give the answer very fast okay so let's go to the next question that is rotate matrix anti-clockwise so in this problem you will be given an array a matrix as an input so you have to just rotate the matrix anti-clockwise right i have already solved this problem so i'm not going to discuss it okay so the next question is fruits price right so in this problem you are given an array of tuples and uh like in the tuples the name of the fruit then uh, price unit price and quantity are given right you have to calculate the total sales and the average sales of those right like in this case apple and orange having total uh 20 plus 80 right so 100 total uh, sales are is 100 and average sales is 50 right so this way you have to uh, you have to write the code okay so let's go to the next question that is sum of cube all number in a range right so let's say you are given in this problem uh, input of range like 2 to 4 right you, the output is 99 how just uh, the output will be this way 2 to the power cube plus 3 to the power cube and plus 4 to the power cube this becomes 99 right so you have to just perform this operation okay so i hope you understood i have already solved these problems please go through the playlist of tcs nqt you will get most of the problem solutions right if you don't get then still search in uh, lit code you will get it okay so the next problem is sum of table right so in this problem you are given an input as integer so that is let's say in this problem 10 and you have to sum all the multiplication tables values right so what i am telling that is uh, let's say in this problem the a, uh, n is equal to 10 right so at first you have to get uh, multiplication table values that is you know the multiplication table values that is 10 multiplied 1 is equal to 10 and 10 multiplied 2 is equal to 20 30 40 50 60 70 90 and 100 right so if you add those 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 plus 70 plus 90 plus 80 plus 100 then you will get this output 550 right so if you are given 9 then you have to add 9 plus 18 plus 27 plus 36 this way right so i hope you understood okay so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section i love it okay so the next problem is maximum element in contiguous sub array right so in this problem you are given an input i mean array as an input and also the length of the sub array right and you have to get all the maximum values from the contiguous sub arrays right so what they have asked that is they have given an array as an input and you have to get all the sub arrays of this length then you have to print the maximum values from each contiguous sub arrays right so in this sub array 247 the maximum value is 7 that's why this is printed 
then the second subarray this is having 7 as the largest value so this is printed then from the third subarray 7 is also in this case uh, the maximum value so 7 is printed then in this case i mean from the fourth subarray 6 is largest that's why 6 is printed right so this way you have to print the largest values i mean the maximum element from the contiguous subarrays right so i hope you understood okay so let me know what question solutions do you want right okay L let me go to the next question that is sum of fibonacci series so in this problem you are given an integer as an input and you have to sum all the fibonacci series up to that input right so at first you have to print all the fibonacci series values up to this i mean five then you have to add all the values right like in this case uh, up to 5 the fibonacci series numbers are 0 1 1 2 comma 3 so 5 values right if you add them 3 plus 2 becomes 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 right so output is 7 so this way you have to get the output right so these are very easy questions right still if you uh, see in the questions uh, then the questions is actually broad but the main gist is this so I hope you understood okay so go to the next question that is path count right so in this problem you are given an input like uh, the matrix length 3 cross 3 matrix m and n value then you are given an obstacle 2 comma 2 right so you have been given these three values as input then you are asked how many path can be traveled by someone right so if you are given a 3 cross 3 matrix like uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 then then 4 comma 5 comma 6 then 7 comma 8 comma 9 right so if you are given these then and if you are having 2 comma 2 as uh, obstacle then how many ways you can travel right so in this case the matrix is starting from 1 indexing starting from 1 that's why 2 comma 2 is 5 and uh, if this is obstacle then if you want to reach these values that is m comma n so you have to reach m comma n right so that means you have to reach at 3 comma 3 so to reach this you have only two place two, two path one is this way and second one is this way right so you have to just count how many ways you can travel to reach m comma n right and this is the obstacle right so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please give the answers in the comment section so i hope you loved this session right and if you think that this video added value to your preparation then please recommend it your friend to watch the techno uf content and please subscribe this channel and make others to subscribe this channel and please have the prime materials of TCS and QT in which I have included all the cracking materials, right? So I hope you will consider that. So thank you for today's session.